Hello, my soccer universe. Yesterday evening, I had the honor to visit the business club of the new Lusk Stadium, thanks to my company having their Christmas party there, and I thought it's worth a video sharing the experience. No, I'm not gonna recount the Christmas party, but the Lusk slash soccer related part of the whole thing. And yeah, it was quite a unique experience. Uh, it was really fun to hold a meal and watch the seats where we are sitting at every match day. So that was cool in a way. Also seeing the stadium at night not lit up because, you know, costs of course money as well and it's not really necessary. But there was enough light to actually see at night into the stadium. Uh, it was enhanced, hampered, if you would like. By the fact we had so much snow over the past weekend that you know arriving there and you can of course park at the stadium parking lot but it was all covered in snow and a rather messily cleaned and on the walk through the stadium you had to walk through a tons of puddles that if you didn't have the proper shoes you probably would have ended up with wet socks but you know that's beside the point you enter the stadium right there and um, you're immediately in the entrance area you're immediately guided to the escalators up to the business club and I find the escalators a cool idea however the pink lighting around them yes BWT is doing their job there too to make it a little bit more pink than it needed to be I think uh, the escalators are black enough that some white lights would have done an equally good job I would, to, would say and then funnily enough, I mean, there is right the entrance to the main uh, area, which is usually then also the fan shop uh, and, and so on. But uh, there's this huge, uh, gigantic um, hall, I would like, like to say, that stretches almost the length of the field. But we had to enter it through the stadium and this is basically on the main concourse of the stadium where you almost can walk around the stadium. So where we also enter if we go to the family sector uh, where we meet and they served some uh, punch and also some um, uh, Maroni right there. Uh, but I arrived tight enough so that I could already take part into the stadium too, which to me Really, I enjoyed being with my colleagues there, but having it at this location, the highlight, of course, was the stadium tour. And while I wanted to wait for one particular call, 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 call of mine, they said, no, we cannot go with drinks there. So they had like three guides there. And I said, no, I, I really cannot wait. I just downed my drink. I did not take the alcoholic one. And I joined the first stadium tour. I was really, really too excited about it. I said, this is something I cannot miss. And first of the stadium tour, I usually don't think much of stadium tours, uh, to be frank, for the simple reason that, you know, yes, you see the locker room, but uh, to me, that's not, it's not an added on value as much. Now, it being my own team, yeah, I think this is something special, but I always think that it's better to visit a stadium during a match day because a stadium lives of the fans, not of the catacombs where, you know, the team changes and so on. But, you know, it was nice to see that one uh, hand in hand, uh, you know, uh, experience it firsthand and actually have a little bit of an idea where these things are happening. Um, we did not see the away dressing room, which is something that I a little bit mourn because I think that would have been interesting too. But, you know, beside the fact it first went and, you know, we went down again the escalators uh, to the main dressing room and yes it is pretty cool it's pretty impressive you know and around there were the shorts hanging there of the, of the players and you know at first everyone's looking there a little bit mm, nice 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 but then I said you can sit down well I immediately went to number 10 shul but then I saw ah colleague of mine is sitting at Harvard my daughter really likes Harvard because he is number 30 so I was sitting with him had my picture taken there uh, it's pretty cool. I have, I have to say that I, I can really see it. You know, it's the dressing room is in the round, and then there's the huge TV screen where the coach can make his um, instructions. Uh, 
I would have liked, yes, they said uh, it's all by Premier League standards, it's all around and so I would have liked to know a little bit more about that. I mean, I saw there was a locker room and that they also said that at the moment the team is not training there, uh, it's only there for the match day, only in January when the training fields are ready, they have actually every uh, player will have not necessarily their own room but they will share rooms so they make actually a little hotel in the states anyway and i saw a video on that which i think is really really cool that then the team more or less can uh if you would like live in the stadium you can spend the entire day there there will be food served and so on so uh really really cool stuff there then we went to the I think this is one of the more unnecessary features, if you ask me, the tunnel club. What's the tunnel club? Well, you have the players tunnel where the players meet from both teams before they walk out. And next to it, they have a room with tables and a bar where the VIPs can sit and watch through a glass. And it's, I mean, you can go both ways, but it's on one side a protected view, kind of. So you have a very unique view of the players, but you have no view of the field. This was my question. Um, kind of, I mean, I didn't ask it this way. How long are they sitting here? And you cannot see the game from it. And I said, yeah, it's actually only tenant for the first 30 minutes. But to be honest, we only use, use a staging era to kind of uh, serve food to the players. And I said, okay, that makes a whole lot more sense because Maybe I'm not easily uh, impressed by such things, but I thought this was relatively useless. But then we walked, we went out to to tunnel. We could walk onto almost the pitch. They said, "Be careful because we have snow up there and it might fall down on you. We cannot really guarantee your safety there. We're not like in Munich where they take the, hel hel the helicopter and blow blow it away." My thought then was, uh, "Yeah, this is cool. I mean, you walk out, you can see a little bit. I walked almost up to the touchline." You saw already the snow there and they say oh, yeah, stay off the grass because you know it has to be redone and they had some problem with the grass so i understand there there was some lighting also there um but i really thought you know we have a big game coming next thursday i mean i think the snow will be gone by then but what if there was snow so uh this kind of our argument you need to do something something about it but yeah okay that was fun uh, to kind of enter like the players and they, they have, you have have to go down some, some step and there's some artificial turf uh, laid out. And then we went back in and then uh, on the one side was the players room and then on the right was then the press officers, uh, uh, press uh, conference room. And that was also cool to see there. I mean, you see all the uh, tables, everyone with uh, their own microphone where you have connections for your laptop and then up to the coach and of course i was sitting there as well everyone made pictures like making a real press conference uh there which i think to me was almost a highlight because this is what i watched the most i watch you usually all the press conference in the stadium and that almost ended too we went on all the way up to the really nice lounges where there was some two cushiony seats to my liking i honestly i feel a stadium I'm not saying you should suffer through it, but there's a certain uh, hardship. Having the comfort there doesn't look right. The view is great. The view is absolutely great from there. Uh, and then some people were also, also, also mentioning that they were at the last game. And, you know, for the second half, yes, we left the game. I would have stayed there. But people went inside and watched it on TV. That is not the stadium experience for me. But um, I guess... I'm not the uh, uh, main clientele to get one of these boxes.
then it ended again where we had our party, uh, where you could see again the journalist's desks, very nicely done. They say, don't put any drinks there, da, da, da. And then they had this main room really filled up with nice tables uh, with a great buffet. I have to say, it was really, really tasty. We had, it was a great party location. Uh, and I had a very enjoyable night, I'm not telling much more that, but uh, the way that this everything says it up was very, very professional. And as I said, I really liked sitting uh, close to the glass, we have a view of the stadium, uh, into the round very much. And you know, I always looked at the seats where we are see, 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 sitting. Now, this is very modern and I see that this is the future. This is the way that the team can make money, enough money to uh, sustain the business and so on, make it a real event location. I all understand that. Place. Um, now it becomes, at least for the ones who are willing to pay for it, a very, very comfy place. And that doesn't sit quite right with me. But on the other side, I am very proud that my team has such a stadium. And it's the most modern stadium at the moment in Austria. It's amazing. And that they can have this as a great event location, I think is equally amazing. It's also credit that they put them up, also the advertising boards. The logos of my comp company with Merry Christmas, blah, blah, blah. So that, that was fun. Overall, despite the slightly, uh, you know, critical touch, it was great. Um, I think I would like to take a tour in summer when more is ready and it's more than just the 15 minutes that we spent on this tour because I think there can be more seen and I think uh, a stadium tour should actually take you through the entire stadium. I would have liked to stand in the standing section for once because, you know, I'm in the family sex section. I would have liked to experience that as well. Um, but other than that, I think it was fine. So, yeah, let me know what you thought about my recounting of this entire thing. Have you done stadiums too? Do you like that, that, that one? Or are you like me rather see a game in a stadium than just doing a stadium tour? I think the only stadium tour that I did was a self-guided one at Barcelona in 1999, where I don't think I even saw the locker room. But the museum and all that kind of stuff, which was interesting as well. But you know, I was never so much into into that part. I'd rather watch the game. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.